editing your website shouldn't be a frightening experience. If you're working on an Office document, you can try out something new and just hit undo if it didn't work. Concrete 5 gives you that same type of rollback control, so you can really feel empowered to go and try something new with your site. Let me show you how versions work. I'm just going to quickly put this page in edit mode. Well, let's change some of the text here in the middle. I'll throw in a line break or two, delete the end of that line, and let's give it a title. I'm going to update my changes. Maybe that looks great. Let's go ahead and publish my edits. Only I realized this isn't what I wanted to do at all. Well, I can quickly come back to edit a page. Versions. And you can see here's every change that anyone has made to this page in the site. Sometimes I was doing it, sometimes the admin was doing it, and I was approving them. You can look at early versions. Here's what the page first looked like a long time ago, looking over here in the sidebar. And you can even pick two versions and compare them. So you can see, we removed that, added this title, added some line breaks. Gives you a sense as to what changed on the page. If you don't like that, simply check the page that you want to make active. So you approve that version. You can tell it's active because this row is bold. And you can even clean up the newer version that you made by clicking that checkbox and hitting remove. Hit close. Exit edit mode. You see, we left the page just the way we found it. Now, there are a few things that Concrete 5 does outside of the version system. If you delete a page, once you hit OK, that's forever. And if you move or copy big portions of your site around, that's not controlled with versions as well. But outside of that, just about everything that you do in Concrete 5 can easily be rolled back, so you can really feel safe to try out something new 